Hi everyone at home and my students here in class with me. Uh, I'm here to talk about your blue folders. So if you're in my class or in Ms. White's class, we're going to be sending home some blue folders with your students at the end of this week. These are their multiplication folders and math folders. They're going to help them out for the rest of the school year. If there's one math skill that they can learn this year that will help them be prepared for fourth grade, it's learning all of their multiplication facts. It's the most important thing they can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at these things and see how to use them. And so now we should be on our Elmo. So your student will get sent home this blue folder. We zoom out, there it is. Beautiful blue folder. We open it up, a little Ziploc inside. We got a few tools. We have a sand timer, it's a two minute timer. We have one die for, you know, any kind of games and we'll show you what to use that for. And then we have a whiteboard marker. So you can take out my supplies in case I'm ready to start working. And then also what is inside of their folder? Well, we have these laminated sheets. The first one is multiplication fluency practice times two. This is where you should start. Once they learn their twos facts and they can complete them all within that two minutes, so they set their sand timer up. I know you guys can't see it because it's going the wrong way. But they set up their sand timer for their two minutes. They get out their whiteboard pen. And then they start multiplying these things. Okay, when the sand timer runs out, you can see how far along they were. And then they could write their number up here, right? Say if they got 10 done the first day, they could write a 10. Then the next day you want to try again and see how many more they can get. Once they can complete the whole page in two minutes, then they know their two facts and they're ready to move on. And then they have their threes facts, fours, Five, six, seven, eight, nines, and tens. And I think we even went to 11 and 12 to extend them. Okay. If they can learn their 12s, that's super awesome. Okay. Some of them are easier than others. Twos, fives, and tens are super easy. Uh, the other ones get a little more complicated. Okay. So the fluency practice sheets are pretty simple to use. You just set a timer. And you can race your students, play with them, have fun with them, okay? On the back page of most of these, they have a multiplication dice game. So there's two rows, so you could totally play with them. And to play the multiplication dice game, they just roll the dice. They draw it or write in the factor. And then they multiply two times six equals 12. Okay? Thank you so much. For two days, so I get two back. Perfect. All right, so that's that game there. And then probably the tool that they'll use the most at home is this green sheet. This green sheet is a piece of poster board in there, so don't let them take it out of the clear sleeve protector. Uh, it's not for coloring or drawing on, although it's an awesome piece of paper. This is a whiteboard for at home. So if we assign a math problem and we want them to draw an array, this is the paper that they should use in the whiteboard pen. So say if I assigned a math problem and I wanted them to draw a four by four array, four times four, they come to their math board, they draw their four rows of four dots. Give me a second. And they get their product. So they know their factors are four and their product is 16. They did that and then they can upload a picture of it. Or if they just have another math assignment to work on and they need a piece of scratch paper, well, don't waste paper, right? We have these whiteboard markers. If you run out, just send us a message on Parent Square and we'll send you another whiteboard marker with them. Okay? And then they can go ahead and use this all school year long. A piece of tissue works fine to erase it or um, just their hands and can go wash their hands up. I think that's all there is for the math folder at this point. We will be adding more games and we can send home more games later as well. So if you have any questions about this, please let us know. And until then, we'll say goodbye. You guys want to say goodbye?